Hi, and welcome to the Chaffee Arts Center, your center for creativity. I'm Sherry Berkheimer Worker, director here. This is my sidekick, Luigi. So we thought for this, it's all about the arts, that we would take you on a tour because we have our annual student exhibit up and this is amazing. We were trying to figure out, um, Jim is behind the camera, Jim and I were trying to figure out how long, so if anybody knows, let us know, how long this is going on. He thinks about the um, 1980s. So um, we're very you know, happy that we get to do this and showcase all these aspiring artists. So let's take a walk. By the way, this is my office. I have the best office. I say, I say uh, my corner office has beautiful views. All right, come on Luigi. So we're gonna go into gallery one, which is um, back in the day, it was probably more of their living room because when you see the fireplace as Jim goes around, you'll see that it looks very, you know, worn and used and cozy. Um, in this gallery, we have Stafford um, Digital Arts. Uh, the fun thing is that Stafford will have their annual show here coming up um, the end of May. So um, they do that every year and they've been doing it for you know quite a while so it's, a, it's really fun to have them here. So what happens with the student show, you'll see different um, numbers from each school. Um, so I think this one is West Rutland, it doesn't say, I just noticed. Sorry about that, but um, so depending on how big the schools are is how many pieces of art they can submit of the students. Um, in this room, we have Poultney Elementary, we have Barstow, this is West Rutland. So this is the intermediate school. Isn't this amazing? All these together. So, um, you know, we've got fourth grade, sixth grade. What's this one over here? Third grade. And this is, I, this is like my favorite thing. The, the bees, all the bees together. So that's from the intermediate school as well. So this room behind these walls that Jim's pointing at, there's um, actually big windows. You can tell from the outside. So this was more, I think, of the formal um, room when people came to visit. But picture the three windows back there. Did you know that back in the day, the family, the Chaffees, George Thrall Chaffees family, they called the Sunny Gables because it has so many windows. All right, so this was the dining room. And in here we have Fairhaven Middle School. We have Rutland High School. We have um, MSJ, more of the high school. This is MSJ. Then we have some homeschoolers. We didn't get a lot of homeschoolers this year, so hopefully homeschoolers who are watching this um, maybe next year can plan on submitting. More of Rutland High School, more of Rutland High School. And that, like I said, Fairhaven High School is over on that area. So, now we're going to go into the butler's pantry and you're going to see Lisa. Yes, you are. <laughs> and we kind of created this as a little book nook that people, and you know, we have cards and things like that. So Lisa's sitting behind there. And this is our gallery shop, which we painted recently. This used to be the original kitchen. Um, so there were two windows over um, the side by the mirror, which we've made into a bathroom, which is quite lovely as well. So there's the bathroom. I don't know if you want to just glance or not. That was a porch. And then we have the servant staircase. Back in the day, they were called servants, but it could have been housekeepers or caretakers or things like that. So now we're in the foyer and we have more of the student art show. On the piano, we have Rutland High School Pottery. 
I, we have to say, like, I have had so many people come through to see the whole show and are just amazed at the work and that has come out. Like, these hearts on the wall, gosh, these are from kindergarten, right? And there's some cute fish over there on that wall, Jim. And then these, these right here, these are second graders with the tigers and they go over to there as well. And then you're probably gonna see a little bit of setup here that we're working on having, you know, tea, both, you know, iced and hot tea and some, so you can come in and you can enjoy the place and you can have a little something to nibble on and um, something to drink. Uh, we want it to be that kind of place where everybody just wants to come and enjoy it and take in the art and, you know, um, think of us when you want to purchase a card or buy something for um, a Father's Day gift, which is coming up. Aren't these adorable? Helen Dillon, she makes these and they're these cute little felt animals. So on the walls here is, um, this is where we kind of, we're going to end going up the stairs for the student show. This is first, first grade, Northeast. And different, this is fourth grade, Pier Point. I think we have about 12 schools involved. Um, we're, it's kind of going back up since the, um, since, you know, COVID, which made it difficult for everyone. Um, so each year we've, we're gaining back more and more schools. So this is where it starts our juried member artwork. All right, we'll keep going up these stairs. One of my favorite places to stand is up here. When I walk down the stairs, I always get this feeling of, I don't know, it's just so grand, you know? So to the left, when you walk up the stairs is the classroom. It used to be uh, where they did ironing and things, half of it and half of it was a bedroom for the, one of the, so the children. Aren't these fantastic? I mean, there's, these are our juried artist members, as I said, and the work is just amazing, too. I mean, we have things out of cork. Those are new. We have paintings and photography. Um, so when you come up and you go right, this is um, where we have some Chaffee family um, history and some pictures. And then we go into the, we kind of call it the history room, but it was uh, Mrs. Chaffee's sitting room. And in here there's, gosh, there's linens from the 1800s from the Chaffee family from their flax farm. And I think it's Massachusetts, Pittsfield, Massachusetts. Um, Catherine King Johnson, who was one of the founders of the Rutland Area Art Association, which is the Chaffee Art Center in 1961. We have work from you know, from her and some information. Ann McFerrin, who's one of our longtime members of the Chaffee, she did um, this painting of Route 7, where we are, which was the historic business district. I mean, it was the business district, I'm sorry, and now it's the historic business district. But it shows what it looked like here before there was a big fire in the end of the 1960s, and it burned this whole area. Um, and then this building was put here in the 1890s. So, so yeah. So people say to me, oh, it's like they, Mrs. Chappie just left the building <laughs> when they come in here, um, which is what we want. We want people to be able to feel what, it, what the history, what it was like when the family lived here. Because, you know, like I said, it's all, it's all part of our history and it's just, um, it's fun to see how things were. This was the master bath. This is the other room that we have. Um, I don't know, can you see everything okay? You know, this is um, bird's eye maple and original everything here. And the sink is just gorgeous under the sink. Um, this right here, Mary Fran Lloyd did for us. 
Um, this is a piece of wallpaper that is upstairs on the third floor, um, which used to be like the ballroom and like I said, where people lived that helped here at the Chaffee. Um, and when she put the color on with, with the process that she did, it brought it right out because now it's really not like that anymore. It's very faded. We didn't want to lose that. So this room was the master bedroom. And we have a lot of member art in here as well. Um, things like this curved radiator made specifically for here. Uh, there's lots and lots of those kinds of features here at the Chaffee. Another one of the four fireplaces that we have. We've been having some work done because they're old. We're gonna be doing some major repairs on them soon. Um, which comes with having a wonderful building like this. So this room was probably another bedroom. Um, we have a lot of uh, um, an artist who, is, who lives in Peru and his name is Percy and I always say is it Navarez? Um, I want to say his name in many different ways but I think it's Navarez. We usually have a puzzle going so people can come and do the puzzle. We also have some work here um, of Helvi Abatel, um, just honoring her, which uh, the family's going to have soon. So that's why we, we put it here, because the kids came and visited, which is really nice. Um, all right, so now we're back out here. We have music in this room, um, which is Green Mountain Music might be fun just to see where if anybody wants to take music lessons Green Mountain Music does music out of here and um, this was the kids bathroom originally lots and lots of history and art both the building well actually we have a third thing the building all of our art on the walls right Jim and we now have a pollinator garden a hundred foot by nine foot pollinator garden. We have a sculpture garden outside. So we hope that people come and, you know, spend some time here. Um, we'll, you know, we have a food truck on Wednesdays. I mean, there's all these things to make it friendly and um, warm and inviting and people can take in the art. This is our lending library and we hope people come and enjoy this. You can, you know, read here or you can take them out. We have different types of books. Um, and it's a compliment, to, of course, to our Rutland Library, which has everything. But um, these, like if you're in here and you're like, oh, I'm interested in um, this artist, Monet. We have books on artists. We have books on the Louvre. We have that kind of thing. Then we have other um, areas where there's technique books, like in the classroom. If you're taking a class or you want to take a class or maybe you're doing it at home and you want to learn watercolor or drawing. Um, and we also have, you know, children's books and children's art books. So we hope that um, people come and enjoy those and you just take them out, you sign them out and you bring them back in. We also have a lending library of musical instruments. Um, and we work with Green Mountain Music who teaches lessons out of here. But um, the lending library is for people to experience, you know, the arts, music. So, um, you know, you can always, you can do that as well. So. We hope you join us at the Chaffee. I mean, we have lots of things going on um, that are fun um, and educational. Um, we're gonna be having more about our pollinator gardens, so you'll be able to learn about native plants. Um, the Rutland County Audubon Society um, helped us to get those plants and GE volunteers helped put in the fencing that we had to put in. And um, it's just, this, we're trying to make the whole place um, as beautiful and historic um, as we can so that the community and those that visit us here can enjoy it. So please stop by. We're open Wednesdays through Saturdays. Um, all of that's on our website, which I'm sure Jim will put on for me. Thank you, Jim. And um, we hope to see you soon. Mm -hmm.